In this video, I'll show the steps to download and build an Arduino project using Visual Studio Code and the Platform I.O. IDE. This is an alternative to the Arduino IDE that's great for both experienced programmers and for beginners ready to move on to more powerful tools. And it even works with other microcontrollers and frameworks besides Arduino. Like the Arduino IDE, all of these tools are free and available on Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. The first step is to download and install Visual Studio Code following the instructions for your operating system. Then open Visual Studio Code and navigate to the Extensions tab on the left-hand toolbar. Type Platform.io into the search bar and click to install the Platform.io IDE extension. This will take a moment to install and then prompt to reload the window. There should now be a Platform.io button on the left-hand toolbar. Selecting this will open the Platform.io Quick Access toolbar where you could find the Platform.io Home with options for creating and importing projects. For this video, I'll show how to download and build the project from my last video in EEPROM Programmer, which can be found on my GitHub website. The easiest way to get the code is to click on the Code button and then select Download Zip to download everything at once. The more advanced way is to use the Git tool to clone the project but I'll show how that works and why you'd use it in a later video. Once you have the code downloaded, head back to Visual Studio Code, click on the File menu, Open Folder, and then select the unzipped project. You might see this pop-up window that asks if you trust the author of this project. Essentially, between third-party extensions and startup build tasks, it's possible for a malicious project to run harmful code when you click Yes. Apparently, Microsoft still hasn't learned anything from their past mistakes, but I'd still recommend VS Code anyway. Just be careful about what extensions you install. This project is quite small, so I encourage you to look through it before trusting it, but be aware that Platform.io will not load in restricted mode. Anyway, once you trust the project, the Platform.io extension will recognize the INI file and start to configure things. This project depends on my core library, which will automatically be downloaded into the .pio folder. Platform.io adds new controls to the bottom toolbar, similar to the ones found in the Arduino IDE. The checkmark button compiles the code. If everything was installed correctly, this should be successful. But before uploading the code, I need to select one of the environments defined in the INI file. I'm using an Arduino Nano, so I'll select that. Now I can plug in my Arduino Nano and use the arrow button to upload the code. All good. Finally, the plug button, or is that an AND gate? I, I really can't tell. Anyway, this launches the serial monitor to talk to the Arduino. This is different from the Arduino IDE's serial monitor in that rather than typing into a box and hitting send, every key press is immediately sent to the Arduino just like typing into the command prompt on a computer. This also makes it possible to code arcade games that use the arrow keys and display colored text, but I'll show that off in a later video. For now, I just want to use the serial monitor to upload a file to my EEPROM programmer. I type the import command, hit the enter key, and then paste the Intel hex stream with the bytes that I want to program. Next, I type the verify command, paste the hex stream again, and make sure it prints pass, indicating that the same data was read back. And finally, the lock command puts the EEPROM in read-only mode. This should give you enough background to build any of my Arduino projects. But there's still a lot more to cover about Platform.io, so be sure to check out these videos if you'd like to learn more. Until next time, thanks for watching.